what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're gonna talk about a few different horror topics in the video here today we'll talk about terrifier 3 i know what you did last summer the collector 3 the wolfman and scream 7 now just start off here with terrifier 3 terrifier 3 has a phone number that we can now dial thanks to a tweet from bloody disgusting this is very much in line with what we've been seeing from some past horror projects i think scream even had something like this with ghostface now i was very intrigued to call this number considering that art himself doesn't talk this would have been like being told from halloween or friday the 13th call this number and speak to michael or jason and and listen to them do what make make up scene breathing sounds I, but the number to dial is 772-837-7439 and when you call art is just honking his little toy but is it being done in some sort of twisted code now i bet it is so that's one thing we've gotten from terrifier 3 another thing we've gotten from terrifier 3 is that damien leone a few days ago tweeted that approximately 35 minutes of terrifier 3 insanity isn't featured in the trailer now to answer your question sir because he's saying would would you believe if i told you that i think that's how he phrased his tweet i do believe you i didn't see a single bar fight instance i didn't see eddie jonathan's college professor didn't show up to my knowledge talking about the winter solstice and that wild opening scene that kicks off your film is barely shown so yes i believe it i didn't see any signs of this alleged blaster man or seeing his father and i doubt we've seen any glimpses of the final battle the trailer is well put together as far as i can tell and did give away too much some might argue that the shower scene could have been saved for the movie but once we all see the movie i think we all will agree the terrifier 3 marketing and the footage that's been released hasn't showcased too much from the overall movie because there's so much that i was thinking we would see that we didn't end up seeing so we'll just have to wait and see if they actually ended up shooting it or all or if it got cut from the final cut of the movie now we need to talk about i know what you did last summer so camila mendez sadly exited i know what you did last summer according to deadline but do we already have her replacement shout out to you horror fan for pointing this out to me it would appear some cast members and the director herself have started following Chase Wonders, who you might remember from Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. This doesn't mean she's the replacement, and I didn't check to see who people were already following before yesterday's news, but it would appear Chase was followed fairly recently. Like I said, it's unfortunate that Camila won't be involved due to scheduling conflicts with the He-Man movie that she's committed to, but Chase is fine. I don't remember Chase being bad in Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Granted, I haven't watched Bodies, Bodies, Bodies in some years at this point anyone that can help us put together a new film and isn't problematic will do i did see you guys mentioning rachel zegler i think she's talented has an amazing voice yes she's pretty but that mob is a real bitch right now so i don't know if going after rachel would be the best thing i don't need all of that drama that is going on with snow white coming into this horror space with i know what you did last summer but rachel herself would be a fine choice it's just that the mob stuff with her needs to die down a bit more that's all now when it comes to the collector josh stewart has confirmed his return for the collector three and said he's confident marcus dunstan will stay true to what fans have looked or what fans have loved about the last two he's looking forward to seeing the story grow and mention how his character arkin is one of the standouts in his career can't deny that that's probably the only famous character i remember from his career outside of a show i think he did at one point with courtney cox i believe which i think was titled dirt now he did all these comments during another great interview from david bennett which i'll leave a link to this clip in the description i haven't watched the collector movies in a while but i do remember arkin be being some sort of thief or he became a thief to help someone out his baby mama or something like that i believe it's been years since i've watched these movies but i'm looking forward to the collector three are you guys looking forward to the collected or the collector three let me know all that down below it did also sound like he was indicating or at least hinting that we would be getting new footage of sorts that they were starting from scratch but i could have sworn we had heard they weren't doing that but we'll just again have to wait and see what comes of that film now we're going to talk about the wolf man now lee winnell's the wolf man design was shown off at halloween horror nights and many have already started taking issue with it now a few of you sent it to me and the reply i've been giving is that it looks like a a member of the family from wrong turn it, it looks like one of those family members one of those hillbilly freaks that would be in the woods with them helping to catch other humans <laughs> that's what it looked like to me but daniel rpk has gone out of their way to confirm that this is how the creature 
the Wolfman will look during the film. Now, it's going to look slightly better on screen. So the only thing I can compare this to is think about all the Chucky costumes that you would see during the Curse of Chucky release, even during the Cult of Chucky release, where they had people dressed as Chucky and it was supposed to be based off of the design from the movie. Chucky looks way better in Curse than we saw of these costumes during some of the marketing tactics that were happening outside of the movie. I can compare it to something like that, where it's just a simple case where the costume isn't necessarily the exact look of what you will see in the movie. And when you actually see them look in the movie, you probably won't take as much issue with it. But if your whole issue is just the overall aesthetic in general, then I don't see how the movie's going to make you feel any confident or any more confident about it. But Daniel himself has confirmed this is the look. It's going to look better on screen. That's why I'm going to compare this to a situation in which you have your Chucky marketing stuff in which the people in the costume obviously don't look that good as opposed to the Chucky you see in the movies. I think that's a fair comparison. Now, the last thing we're going to talk about here is going to be Scream 7. Scream 7 has allegedly been delayed once again to start shooting in January of 2025. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because so many of you have already started asking me if I've heard anything reliable about this. And the answer to that is no. I myself have not heard about this information. This did come from Scream Spain. And to their credit, they have been right about stuff in the past. The most memorable thing that I remember them being right about is when they revealed that Skeet Ulrich would be returning in Scream 6. Other than that, I have not seen Scream Spain report on anything else that was reliable. That's not to say that they aren't doing that right now, but they're claiming to have gotten this information from someone associated with the production. Why someone with production would spill this to them, I don't know, but of course they could be using an account in which the person with production doesn't know who they are. I don't think that Scream 7 has been delayed till January is what I'm getting at. I don't think so. I won't take too much of that to heart until we start hearing it from Nev. Until we start hearing it from the trades, until we start hearing it from the director himself, Kevin Williamson. But would it be shocking if they delayed it till January? No, not at all. Considering everything going on with the film, it wouldn't be shocking if they want to give themselves another month to get things together. I I keep hearing that they're determined to make sure this is a quality script. I mean, that's the only thing that makes me semi-confident this will end up being a good movie. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Remember, there's a video in the description. I have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next week. Next week.